There are currently 1,254 councillors in Wales. The average age of a councillor in Wales is 60. 99.4% of councillors are white. The next local government elections in Wales will be in 2022. Almost anyone can be a councillor and it is very important that a range of different people are elected to represent everyone in their communities. Local government needs more councillors who are under 40, female, have disabilities, are gay or lesbian, are black, Asian or minority ethnic. Wales is becoming more diverse and you as a councillor could help to reflect this. I mean my role as a councillor is varied every single day, no, no single day is the same. When I first got elected, which was 17 years ago, I was the first ethnic minority councillor. So I'm the first leader, the first woman leader to lead Anglesey Council. Um, I'm the youngest councillor now in Anglesey, so um, I, I, what I say is I've broken the mould. It's, it's, I think it's a breath of fresh air. I hope that it helps other women to think that it's possible. Um, but I must say that I'm glad that I'm doing this role as a single man because I think if I can show other young women that it's possible, um, hopefully in the future we can persuade more young uh, women, people to, to take this role up. When I came home from university and sort of got back involved in the community that I was born and brought up in, I could see that things weren't being done, um, that we were at a standstill point and that young people in particular didn't have the facilities and services that I enjoyed when I was a, a, a younger person growing up in that community. I decided to be a councillor as I didn't feel like the council before me was doing a good job. I wanted to bring something different to the table, especially on election day. I was uh, 19 years old, so I was something different, which, you know, the typical, I think, local government person is, you know, an older white man, and that is the statistics as well if you look online. Councillors do give good value for money if they put the effort in, especially sort of in the modern age now with social media. I think one of the things being so young is a lot of people in my community, young people, say, oh, we've kind of got someone who sort of represents us and speaks up for us. Did you know that if you were elected to a principal council, the basic salary for being a councillor is currently £13,868. Councillors are entitled to receive this salary in return for the commitment and contribution they make. Councillors are also entitled to claim reimbursement for travel and subsistence when on official business. Are you a working parent or do you have other caring responsibilities? Your council can reimburse you up to £403 a month if needed. This is called reimbursement of costs of care and it could also be used for costs relating to your personal assistance needs. You can also claim your salary when taking family absence, such as parental leave. The remuneration you receive is to help enable you to undertake your councillor duties. All councillors will receive um, a basic allowance which helps them then fulfil their roles as a county councillor to enable younger people, people of a working age to get involved in um, elected um, life then you need to have that allowance to allow you to do that. To help support you in your role as a county councillor you can also claim expenses such as mileage expenses and also cost of care so if you have any caring responsibilities whether that be children or for, for elderly parents um, then you can claim that cost of care back up to a certain figure per month. Yeah, the salary is, is important. Uh, it, it, it allows me a, a platform to do uh, a significant amount more than you know, if, I, it was, if I was not paid. And particularly um, as, a, as a father, I can claim child costs as well, child care costs. So every councillor on a, a principal authority in Wales gets a basic income. Um, I'm also a chair of a committee, so I get an extra allowance for that, something that they call a senior responsibility allowance. And that's because as a committee chair, you take on extra work around the governance and leadership of that committee. Um, and some of the uh, more detailed policy work that goes into that as well. So you are, you are paid for the work that you do and I think that's really important because it means that people like me, working class people, are able to run for office and serve their communities. So I am currently mostly a mother, a councillor and a member of the authority, the National Park. I have two small children, I have a three and a five year old and the three year old is still um, you know, not in school so obviously there's a lot of um, childcare involved. Being able to claim for childcare really makes this job possible, otherwise uh, financially it's just not possible. Um, I, I know that um, some people view members' expenses as uh, kind of a luxury, or, um, but absolutely it's, it's essential if you want people um, from different walks of life representing you on local government. Councillors do not set their own salaries. 
The framework for councillors' salaries is set by the Independent Remuneration Panel for Wales. Go to the panel's website for more details on the remuneration and allowances you can claim as a councillor, as these are all published in the panel's annual report. Look on the WLGA website for more details on how to become a councillor.